So what you're looking at here is a refrigeration unit that we use for training students in our facility so that they can learn about refrigeration. And we have a Copeland condensing unit that is rated for approximately 2300 BTU an hour. And that's at, at a tw and that would be at a 20 degree evaporator temperature. And yeah, with a 90 degree ambient. And we also have uh, an evaporator that's sized approximately for the same conditions around 2300 BTU. And we have here a heat exchanger that we use just to pipe in a pipe. So this is our liquid line here. Suction, suction line comes in here straight through back into the suction of the compressor. So over here on the other side, we've got the placement of our TXV. And the model number is a 1 5th FVE. So 1 5th C FVE and the E is for externally equalized, which you see we have an externally equalized line here. And we're reading our temperature, which is just a few inches downstream of the bulb. The bulb is inside, right here, insulated, strapped on with uh, the proper straps, We've ensured that it has good contact. So we're reading the temperature here, and we're reading the pressure nearly at the same spot as the temperature. And you'll notice right now we're setting on a saturation temperature of approximately 14 degrees. This is a R22 system. And then if we look at the temperature, saturation temperature, the small number here would give us our saturated, uh, our actual temperature rather on the suction line. Now the larger number is a differential temperature and just to show you what that's about, we've got two temperature probes here. We've got one leaving the evaporator and this one here is strapped on with the line going into the evaporator. So this is this is a mixture of vapor and liquid, so this would be at saturated temperature. And we find that it tracks pretty closely what the saturated temperature is on the pressure gauge. So this is kind of a, a workaround to make it easy to see roughly what our superheat is in real time. But at any time we can compare for sure by looking at this number and comparing it to uh, what the gauge is reading. So here's the interesting situation. We're having a problem with this uh, valve what appears to be hunting and you'll notice if you just watch the temperature let me pull back so that you can see both the gauge and the temperature you'll notice the pressure gauge doesn't move very much but notice what's happening here with the temperature the temperature right now the differential is rapidly dropping we're getting all the way down to saturation so the leaving refrigerant right now on the suction line is at nearly saturation right now. Now our compressor is protected because we're going through that heat exchanger so what's actually entering the compressor is still superheated but coming out of the evaporator we're hitting saturation. You'll notice the actual temperature is 18 degrees right now and if you look at the gauge the corresponding saturated temperature is right about 18 close to 18 between 16 and 18. Okay, but now watch what's happening to the differential temperature. It's starting to climb. It'll sit here for a little bit. Not much of a change. And then it'll really start to climb. Right now it starts to climb rapidly. By the way, our box temperature is setting on around 33 degrees. I notice the pressure gauge is not moving very much. So it seems like the 
TXV to us is closing down more than what's needed and it's not opening quick enough. So we're getting all the way up to uh, almost 14 degrees superheat now. There's a little time delay between what's happening with the temperatures and what we see happening with the pressures. Uh, just for the record here, let's look at our head pressure as well. So we're looking at uh, just over 200 PSI right now. And our liquid line temperature going into the TXV is 86, almost 87 degrees. And uh, here's a shot of the liquid line sight glass. So you can see it's, it's clearly a solid flow of liquid, no bubbles. So we're getting, we're getting pure liquid into the TXV. And coming back up here, look what's happening. We're dropped down, all, all of a sudden we've dropped down to almost zero degrees superheat coming out of the evaporator. So it's cycling between uh, pretty much zero superheat and 13 to 14 degrees superheat with just a little bit of change in the actual pressure. So right now we're sitting on about 15 degrees saturated pressure and our temperature is reading 17.3 so yeah it looks like the TXV is starting to close again the um, superheat is rising you can see it rapidly rising our pressure gauge is not really moving much in fact we're down to about 14 degrees saturated temperature now on the pressure gauge. But it's still climbing over here on the actual temperature. So that's our dilemma to try to figure out why it's cycling like this and why we can't get a stable uh, temperature, uh, superheated temperature on the system. Thanks for watching.